It's your wedding today, Jasmine. How do you feel? Thank you for texting me. I've just got to the wedding venue. My heart is pounding. Like, I'm kind of nervous. Because a lot of people are gonna be there. I didn't expect someone like you to get married sooner than me. I'm so shocked. Huh? What's wrong, Leonora? Something's off with you today. Did something happen? Look, Jasmine. Do you really think you can be happy? Wait, what do you mean? I bet your partner felt pitiful for you. That's why he's gonna get married to you. Do you realize yourself that you're a failure who can't live without a wheelchair? Huh? What are you talking about? You're being so mean. We used to get along with each other when we were colleagues. I thought you wouldn't say stuff like that. The reason I treated you nice was just to make myself look nice. What? If I gave a hand to someone like you, everyone thinks I'm nice. I was just using you for that. I see. That's how you truly are. I could treat you nice because I was looking down on you. So why is someone like you getting married sooner than me? On top of that, he's a CEO's nephew, right? That doesn't make any sense. Why are you saying that to me? I bet you got married with him because you can't live on your own. That's not true. Don't imagine things. Do you think you can enjoy your life like us with your disabled body? If so, you're too naive. Knock it off already! What are you trying to do, insulting me on a day like this? What do you want? I just can't forgive you. For finding a good husband with your body and getting married earlier than me. Um, are you jealous because you can't get married? Huh? There's no way I'd be jealous of someone like you. Are you an idiot? Because that's what you look like you're doing. I thought you were my good friend. That's why I asked you to handle the reception. Ah, uh, about that one. I'll be taking all the gift money I'll be collecting. Huh? What are you talking about? I said I'm taking the gift money. As I'll be working for you, it's only natural, right? That doesn't make any sense. What, do you want to get paid? You can't just take that. What? That's the whole reason I was pretending to be a good friend. But still, you're saying that you can't give me anything? What? I didn't know you wanted something from me. You were my colleague, but I trusted you as a friend. You're so naive. If you're physically disabled, you feel like asking anyone for help, I guess. All I did was just to treat you a little nice, but you think I'm your friend. It really takes nothing to please you, huh? I see. So you were totally looking down on me. Just because I'm physically disabled, you treated me nice. And you were showing everyone how nice you were. That's one way to put it. But I sure was nice, right? But you still betrayed me. You're the one who should be blamed. How does me getting married equal betraying you? It has nothing to do with the fact that you can't get married. I'm not married, but it's not like I can't. Can you stop saying crazy things like that? You're getting married because he felt sorry for you. You look down on me because I can't walk on my legs. And you have to be always superior or you'll go crazy. So that's why you're excessively reacting. Stop being cocky. You're so inferior that I don't even have to look down on you. You're the worst. I overestimated you. Actually, I have a prank for you. Huh? What is it? I destroyed your wheelchair at the wedding venue. This one is a good one, right? What are you saying? My wheelchair? I was surprised you didn't notice. I didn't expect you to leave your wheelchair like that. There was nobody else, so the prank was a huge success. I have no idea what you're on about. Where did you find it? You can't go anywhere without it. But you don't know where it is. Oh my god, I'm laughing so hard. Wow, you're real annoying. What? Just because you're getting married, you think you're better than me? But you're just a useless member of society. Better realize that and live your life. What did I ever do to you? Your existence annoys me. 
So that's what you were thinking of me? Just looking at you makes me annoyed. Like, I feel sad. It's super hilarious that a bride is attending her wedding with her wheelchair. I broke your wheelchair as a prank, so I'm hyped for it. Actually, I got a prank for you too. Huh? I have my wheelchair with me right here. Huh? What are you saying? I saw yours, so I destroyed it. I think that's my friend's. You screwed up. You've done something that can't be undone. What? Your bestie rides one too? That's so lame. That's so funny. I'm laughing out loud. I don't understand what's so lame, but did you really break it? If you really did, you were done for. How come? All I did was break a wheelchair. You destroyed my friends, who's the daughter of a CEO. What? I met her at a gathering of physically disabled people, but she can walk with a cane if she tries. So she walked to say hello. She didn't have to, but she's so considerate. And you destroyed her wheelchair while she was out. The daughter of a CEO? Which company? Remember I said my husband is the nephew of a CEO? What? Are you serious? I am. We hit it off, and as a result, she introduced my husband to me. And in the end, I got married to him. Your husband is the president's nephew? That's it. Do you finally understand it? You broke it as a prank. But it turned out to be the CEO's daughter. I didn't do that. I have no idea what you're saying. It's too late to make excuses. I've already taken screenshots of this conversation. Too late even if you deleted it. Why would you do that? What are you going to do with them? Because breaking something that belongs to others is a crime, and the criminal confessed what she did on her own. Why wouldn't I do anything about it? Hey, stop joking around. What are you going to do? Well, her father loves her. He'll be furious. That's not really good. Ah, and my husband is also furious. Huh? Why? He found the broken wheelchair. He texted me, so I sent him the screenshots. What? You've already done that? As soon as he knows everything, he's going to call 911. Don't think he's going to show you any mercy. He'll never forgive who hurts his family. Cops? Why is he going to call cops? What you've done is a crime. I figured it'd be best to call the cops. You're making it a bigger deal than it is. I just tried to prank you because you seemed cocky. Thank you. Thanks to that, I got to know that you're a piece of trash. No. I wasted my time being friends with you. You look down on me just because I was in a wheelchair. Your way of thinking like that is the reason you can't get married. Ugh. Sorry for pointing out something obvious. But it's true, right? I'll see you in court. Everyone knows you're the one who did it. Maybe the CEO needs to talk to you. Huh? What do you mean? Firstly, you'll have to pay for compensation and the repair charge. You don't even know how expensive it is to repair a wheelchair, right? But... It can't be that high, right? It was an expensive electric one, so probably like $10,000. What? 10,000 bucks? You can buy a used car. I mean, her dad is a CEO. Oh my god. Help me, Jasmine. What? You tried to ruin my wedding. Now you're asking for my help? I'm not that nice, you know that? At this rate, I'm gonna get fired. I'll be in big trouble. You deserve it. What? Huh? Why are you suddenly acting like that? Did you think that I'm an idiot? I don't feel a thing. You don't even know what I've been through throughout my life. You're done. Calm down, Jasmine. We need to talk. I didn't think this was going to be a big deal. I think you can understand the situation if we talk. There's nothing to talk about with you. You must have escaped from the wedding venue but you'll get arrested in no time. Have fun with that. I'm sorry, Jasmine. Help me, please forgive me. Why would I do that? Why don't you explain the situation by yourself to the cops? I hope you realize what a piece of trash you are and never talk to me again. Their colleagues gathered to know what happened. 
They learned what Leonora did, and they were shocked. Leonora got caught in the parking lot. The cops arrested her. The wedding was almost ruined, but it was saved. It was a fantastic wedding. Naturally, Leonora got sued for what she did. Apparently, she has to pay for compensation and the repair charge. She's now looking for a new job, but I heard she's struggling. She's in debt and she moved to a rundown house. After that, Jasmine never saw her again. Tanner? I just had my checkup at the clinic. I see. How was it? So far, things are looking fine. And they said pretty soon I should be getting over my morning sickness. I see. Well, that's good to hear. Sure is. I feel a lot better hearing from the doctor again that everything is still going well for the baby. I was a little worried for a while because recently, due to the morning sickness I've been having, I haven't been able to eat much. You're throwing up in the toilet almost every day. Hearing you gag like that all the time is really bad. Just having to listen to you makes me not want to eat anymore. <laughs> I don't think you really have to say that right now. I'm not throwing up like that on purpose, after all. I know that. But having to hear that all the time doesn't make me feel good. I'm sure it doesn't. And recently, due to you not faring very well, you've been slacking off from the chores, right? When you get back from that clinic today, would you please use the vacuum cleaner and do a little bit of cleanup? Get over in the bathroom especially. All of your hair is piling up on the floor in there. Um, sorry about that. Due to my hormones all becoming unbalanced, some of my hair has started to fall out more easily. Ah, so I was right about that before. I was starting to wonder for a bit why your hair was getting so thin lately. It's maybe starting to lose interest in you a little. Just the feeling of your hair right now is horrible. All dry and tough. It's not like I can help any of that right now. My body is changing a lot right now with the baby. So what you're saying is that being pregnant normally causes one to go bald? Well, I think that all depends on the person. There are all sorts of things that can happen to one to make their hair begin to fall out like this. But from what I've heard, most people begin to worry about their hair after having their baby rather than during their pregnancy. What? <laughs> are you serious? So there's no doubt you're going to go bald then. Jesus. <laughs> Thank God I'm not a woman! Hey, what's going on with you right now? I don't think those are things you should be saying to someone who's currently pregnant. This baby that I'm carrying right now happens to be your baby as well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am thankful for all the work you're having to go through right now. I don't think so. Recently, you've been getting on me about not all the chores getting done as well. Even though I've told you I don't feel very well sometimes. You're starting to make me feel bad about something I can't control. It's starting to really stress me out the way you talk to me, so please cut it out. I already know a lot of this is not fun, so I don't need you calling me gross or yelling at me. Ah, uh, could you be getting all worked up right now because of your hormones? <laughs> I just told you to stop making fun of things like that right now. A lot of what you're saying right now would make me upset even if I wasn't pregnant. This all has nothing to do with my hormones, but about the fact that you're not being kind to me. Okay, okay. I won't say anything else about you then. <laughs> Just as long as you start getting better and do all the chores. Seeing all the hair of yours on the floor makes me want to gag. A lot of that isn't just my hair. I'm just saying that most of it is. <laughs> so make sure it all gets cleaned up. Ah, I'll be home today around 7 p.m. or so. Make sure dinner is ready for me by then. Okay. But are you really going to be coming home at that time today? Just the other day you said you'd be home early, but in the end you didn't make it home until 1 in the morning. I'll be home as soon as possible today. I want to take some time to relax today. I want to watch a movie or something and have some beers to drink. Can you make some snacks up for me to have with my beer tonight? Please and thank you. Tanner, what time are you going to be getting home today? 
You haven't really talked to me at all today, actually. I'm trying to figure out right now what to do about your dinner. I'm really busy today, so I won't be home tonight. What? Again? I have no other choice right now. I have things I have to get done here. Do you really have to work all night, though? Are you trying to say I'd be doing something else tonight? The last time you came home from work late, there was a receipt to a female clothing store in your suit pocket. You bought clothing that was close to a thousand dollars in total. That was clothing I bought for someone at work who's going to be leaving the company soon. Some of my co-workers joined me to pay for those gifts for her. Really? I'm being serious. What? Do you think that I might be cheating on you or something? You and I are both married now, so I wouldn't like to think so. But there's always a chance that you're being unfaithful right now. Stop it with all that thinking, then. I would never do something like that, Denver. So would you please stop thinking of something as ridiculous as that? But Tanner, recently you have been coming home late very often. And sometimes you even end up staying at work all night and don't come home until the next day. Up until recently, you never had to stay out that late or stay the night for work. I'm busy at work right now, though. I'm working my butt off right now for our life together, all right? And it's not like when I have to stay the night at work, I'm going to a hotel or anything. That would be a waste of money that we really need right now. I either stay at the office all night long, or I go and sleep out in the car. I want to work this much in order to get a promotion soon. So that when you have our baby, I'm bringing in even more money. So would you please stop thinking that I'd be cheating on you? It hurts my feelings that you think something like that of me. I'm sorry. But I really am worried about you. Well, before you continue to worry about things like that, maybe you should be doing what you need to do. Ever since you got pregnant, you've always claimed that you're feeling sick and lay around all day. This has left most of the chores in the house from ever being completed. And when you start to claim things are really bad, you barely even bother making anything for dinner. Well, none of this is something I've asked for. I didn't want to become this sick from carrying our baby. And I've told you already, I get that. You have times where you aren't feeling very good, and I have times where I have a lot of work to do. Both of us have things going on, but would you stop complaining about me already? Unlike you, I am very busy with things. You're the one with all that time on your hands, so stop trying to tear me down. That's not what I've been trying to do here. I'm just worried about you. Whatever. You're making me all stressed out by talking to you. You have no idea what it's like to be a man. I think you should be a little more thankful that I'm the one going out and working for us every day. Who is to thank for you being in that nice warm house? I'm sorry, Tanner. After I finish work tomorrow, I'm coming home to get some new clothing. Make sure there's a new suit and shirt ready for me to get changed into. Are you going to head right back out after changing? For the time being, I don't want to be around you. Having to come home to someone like you who's always sick will never give me a chance to rest. While you're on your own from now on, I think that it would be a good chance for me to rethink some of what you've been doing. I want you to stop thinking that just because you're pregnant, you should be getting spoiled. Thoughts like that are just not true. You're nothing special compared to everyone else that's actually working. Tanner? I have something I'd like to talk to you about. Make sure you come home to talk with me today. Today's not going to work for me. You have something you'd like to talk about, then text me it. This is something very important, though. I'm the one that'll decide if it's important or not. So you really don't seem to care about myself or the baby then, huh? I never said anything like that. So what's this about? What do you have to say to me? Tanya, you're having an affair, aren't you? Huh? We're back to talking about this? You're being a dick now. If you'd like me to be a dick, then I can be one. I already have all the evidence I need of you being with another woman. What kind of evidence could you possibly have of that? <laughs> Videos of you going to another woman's house? And pictures as well. I asked someone to go out and investigate you, and this is what they brought me. You asked someone to investigate me? Huh? You...
You really had nothing better to do, do you? I thought you were too sick right now because of the baby. Is that not the case? You have all that time to be thinking about me cheating on you, and you could be doing the dang chores. I've been doing the chores. Well, you haven't been doing them as nearly as well as I'd like you to. The other day when I stopped by the house, I had a look at the bathtub and all your hair was tangled up in there. If you're going to leave the things a mess all the time, then maybe I need to find myself a new wife. You haven't tried to defend yourself about the cheating on me yet. If you have evidence of it all, then there's no point in fighting back. But listen here. I have a very good reason for why I started to cheat on you. And what could that reason be? You have turned into a complete mess and a turnoff, so I've had to find myself someone else that can please me. You think I want to be around a balding woman like you? <laughs> so that's what this is about then. Then you and I are getting a divorce. What? You're going to divorce me now? <laughs> is that alright with you? Don't be blowing my leg here. <laughs> I would never pull your leg on something as serious as this. I have no reason to be married to a balding and cheating man like you anymore. <laughs> Being around you has only been stressing me out even more and could probably lead to me balding someday. Huh? Who are you calling a balding and cheating man? You're the one losing your hair. Tanner, have you still not noticed anything yet? You're the one that's balding as well. What are you even talking about? I am not going bald. So you really have no clue what's going on with yourself. You're starting to look like a monk with the way your hair is going. <laughs> and so much skin under that hair. <laughs> huh? I am not going bald! Later on, you should take a look at the back of your head in a mirror, please. By the way, you have always been complaining about all the hair on the floor and in the bathtub drain. All of that has been your hair. I understand that due to my pregnancy, I have started to lose some hair. You're losing even more than me because you're getting old. Just because you're going bald doesn't mean you can start to make fun of me! I'm just stating the truth is all. I was never going to tell you about any of this before because I knew it would make you feel sad. But I never thought that the balding man would start to pick on me for losing a small amount of hair. So you're just going to keep talking to me like you're in elementary school. I'm done with you. I cannot stand the person you've turned into. And that's why, just like you've asked for, we're getting a divorce. You're the one that's been picking on me this whole time like you're a 10. Calling me disgusting all the time because I'm pregnant now and have to deal with all sorts of problems, and I've just had to learn that you're having an affair. Treating me like you're my bully when I'm the one carrying our kid for you. I am just as fed up with you as you are with me. Well, let's get on with this and hand in the divorce papers. I wasn't planning on coming home today, but I guess I'll have to now. Well, you're still being a total witch. I'll sign those papers and get rid of you for good. Denver? Right now, you're back at your parents' house, right? What do you want? I told you to go and talk with a lawyer about things like the child support you owe and the divorce. No, wait, this isn't about all that. I started to worry a bit about the kid. I don't need you worrying about my kid. But that's my kid as well, right? I have to pay for it after all every month. And? Has the kid been doing all right? They're fine. I see. And how about yourself? Like I said, I don't need you worrying about me any. You never seemed to care about me back when we were married. That was your time to worry, but you never did. So why do you care about me now? Denver, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Excuse me? I was... I was lied to by the woman I was with. I thought that she was really in love with me and that we'd be able to stay with one another forever. But just a little while after the divorce, she ran off and left me. She was only with me for my money. After the divorce and the settlement you got from me, she realized I didn't have much money left and ran away. You're a real idiot, Tanner. I think so as well. 
Even she told me I was balding. And told me she would never be able to love someone who was going bald. I was an idiot for falling in love with a jerk like her. So that shocked you to the core, right? Well, that's what you were saying to me before, right? I guess the tables have really turned this time. I'm sorry. You were the one that was always thinking about me. I really wonder why I wouldn't cheat on you with another woman then. Right now, I really regret what I did to you. Hmm? Well, ever since the divorce, I have been feeling wonderful again. That's because I was finally able to get away from the person that made fun of me for being pregnant. I'm not regretting a single thing that's happened. I really am sorry. I've learned not to do anything like that ever again. I've been thinking about why I was never nicer to you while you were pregnant with my child. That's left me regretting a lot right now. Well, it's all too late now. It's not too late! I finally come around to understanding that I was the problem! You're the one person I should be caring for more than anyone else! I get that now! Right now, I'm starting to feel the same sensation of love I had for you back when I married you! Hold on a sec. Why are you getting all worked up like that? You and I are divorced now. You are nothing more than a stranger to me now. And I should be the same way to you. But you and I never ended up hating one another, right? I understand that what I did was horrible. But just because we had the divorce doesn't mean you and I have lost feelings for one another just yet. I hate your guts, though. There's not a single person I hate more than you, Tanner. That can't be. I know that back during the divorce I was upset with you as well, but... But I never stopped thinking about you after that. Listen here, do not compare how I am feeling right now to the way you are feeling. Can you do that for me? I had to spend months listening to you talk horribly about me. I didn't just come to hate you like I do now in one night. I had to sit through so many instances of you making terrible comments about me and leaving me in difficult situations back home. That all compounded over time and led me to hating you. And all of that hate for you isn't going to magically go away now. But you had always been in love with me then, right? I will make you love me again. From now on, I will only think about you and the baby and not a single other person. You will be the most important person to me, and I'll make sure to handle all the chores of the house. You don't have to do anything. Even with you saying all that, I don't want to go back. You think I could go back and marry someone I hate? Could you do something like that? You really think that after all I've been through, going back with you and being your wife again would make me happy? Well, we used to be married, right? And that was before I began to hate your guts, Tanner. I had to worry about a lot of things like my health, the baby's health, my hair falling out. And yet when I looked towards you for comfort, you turned me away and made me feel even worse about my problems. You didn't even try to make me feel all right. Ever since then, I've been wondering why you ever chose to marry me if you're just going to treat me like that. I am really sorry about all that. You don't have to worry about apologizing anymore. No matter how much you apologize, I'm not forgiving you. But this is truly how I'm feeling right now. Please, allow me to apologize. So, you're still going to ignore how I feel? Stop trying to push how you feel onto me just to make yourself feel better. I don't need your apologies anymore, and I don't want to go back to you. Those wounds on my heart will never heal easily, and what you've done to me will never be forgotten. But I really will change for you! Back when you weren't feeling good during the pregnancy, I felt as though you didn't care about my needs any. That all made me feel lonely. That led me to becoming a real jerk and then me cheating on you. So now you're going to use my pregnancy as your excuse? That is what makes something between you and I impossible. I am so happy that I got to be divorced from you then, before having my baby. Denver, just forgive me. I will never hurt you again. I will make sure to live for both yours and the baby's sake. That's right, you will. That's why you're going to continue to work and send me that child support in the mail every month. That is your only responsibility to us now. You and I are nothing now, and I don't have any other feelings besides hate for you. 
I think you need to learn just how bad of a person you were to me, and then you might begin to understand why I don't want to go back to you. Stop acting like just because you were once my husband, I'd still want anything to do with you still. After that, Tanner came all the way up to my parents' house to apologize to me. But before he could get to me, my parents yelled at him to get off their property. Their yelling and screaming really put the fear of God into his eyes. And after that day, he never once came around me or even contacted me ever about anything again. I don't get how he thinks apologizing to me will ever fix anything, because I've already moved on from the life I had with him. After being thrown away by the woman he cheated on me with, Tanner developed a distrust towards women. He is no longer able to go out with women anymore, and I think he's going to be alone for the rest of his life now because of that. Honestly, I think it's a good thing he can't talk to women anymore, as that does a massive service to all of us. To me, the only reason that man should live is to pay for the child support my baby deserves. Besides that, there should be nothing else expected of the man, and he should live his life in hiding thinking about all the wrongs he's committed. And from there, he should live in regret for all he's done for the rest of his life. After that divorce, I gave birth to a very healthy baby boy, and right now the two of us are still living at my parents' house. Taking care of a baby is a lot harder than even I had thought, but I'm making it all work out. I get tired quite a lot from it, but every time I see my son's smiling face, I gain all my energy back. I know that I'm still an amateur when it comes to being a parent, but being able to make my little guy happy has given me a lot of confidence. I plan to stay at home and not find work until my son turns one, so for the time being, he's going to be my only responsibility. Of course, after getting back out there and working again, I'm still going to make him my number one priority. Luckily, I'll still have both my parents and some of my friends around to help me take care of my son, so I won't have to worry about leaving him alone too much. As long as he's happy with the life I'm giving him, then I think I'm on the right path to having a small and loving family. Thank you for watching and listening. We hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment about what you thought of the story. We look forward to seeing you at the next story.